Hey guys, um, this video is going to be on how to make your own repo for an installer. Um, and I've got to get to the video now because it's a really long video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to have to do is uh, download a package so you can zip the files. Um, it will be in the video description to the right of the video. Um, it's a zip file. You just need to save it to the desktop when you download it. And once it's saved, you're going to unzip it. I'm just going to unzip it the way it people unzip it differently. I use 7-zip. Uh, I'm just going to extract here. Okay, you'll get two files, cwigan uh, 1.dll and zip.exe. Alright, now you're going to need to, you can delete the zip folder now. Okay, now you're going to need to make a new folder. So make a new folder and call it zip, zip. Okay, no caps or anything, just lowercase zip and then drag them two files that you extracted into that folder alright now open this up and you can minimize this for now alright and I'm gonna go ahead and drag two files one of them is gonna be a ROM and then another one is gonna be a Kuseri, Kuseri or however you say it dot app it's a, a game it's an application or whatever just so I can I'm gonna give you a ROM which is a file and then a folder to show you how to zip both of them Okay. Now you're going to have to sign up for this website, myrepospace.com. Um, I will have the link to that in the video description also. Okay, once you're on the website, you will hit the or register up in blue up here in the top right hand corner. You will fill out your email, password, repeat password, nickname, and then the code. And let me, before you fill out your nickname, uh, your nickname will be what is displayed in your repo URL. So it'll be myrepospace.com slash repo slash your name or nickname, whatever you put right here. Okay, so make sure you want that to be whatever you want your repo to be. Okay, and then you hit go. It will send you an activation email, and you'll just have to activate that. All right, once you've got your account all set up and you've activated the, you've hit the activation link in the email, you're going to log in. I'm going to log in on my account. Okay. Now what you're going to need to do is zip the files that you're going to upload. All right, you can go ahead, go ahead and hit Add Packages, and that'll be ready. So we can just minimize this. Okay. The first thing I'm going to show you how to uh, zip is a package or an app with a folder in it. Okay. So you've got the two, you've got whatever files you're wanting to zip in the zip folder along with the cwigan onedol and the zip.exe okay up here in the uh, address bar you're going to copy documents and settings username and the desktop zip okay just copy whatever's up in this bar and you can minimize this alright now you're going to hit start run and then you're going to type in this uh, in the uh, open field type cmw or sorry cmd CMD and then hit OK and I'll display that on the screen just so you make sure you type CMD and hit OK alright now as it's you can see uh, it's already set up on documents and settings and then your username so it's set up on your just your account All right, you're going to need to hit C type CD space and then right click and paste what you copied just a second ago the folder name and this what CD stands for is change drive so it'll change your drive to that zip folder okay and then it should say the desktop there are documents and settings time off or your username desktop and then slash zip okay now what you're gonna do is hit if you're gonna zip a folder this is gonna be an app or a folder any kind of folder or anything like that this is how I'm gonna show you first okay you're gonna type zip zip space and then you're going to do a dash R and I will display this all in the video description so you know exactly what to do this code that you're typing in right here zip space dash R and then you're going to name whatever you want the name of the zip to be I'll just name it uh, Kuseri okay or Kiosari I don't know how to say that alright now to make this easier to make sure you type it exactly right because it has to be all caps and everything open up that zip folder again and copy the text that's in the uh, name of the folder or you could just type it just make sure you get everything right the capitals and lowercase and everything alright and then you're gonna hit a space and then paste and then hit enter and then it will zip all the files and 
just depending on how big it is or how long it takes. It shouldn't take long at all though. Okay. Now I'm going to minimize this and you can see that now I have the Kuseri.zip. Okay, you can go ahead and drag this to your desktop. Alright, now we're going to zip the uh, ROM or a file. Like this could work if you're going to zip a V wallpaper or um, a ROM or anything like that, just as a file, you're going to do it this way. But the other way, the way I just previously showed you, would be a folder. Okay, open up the thing again. Okay, you're going to do almost the same thing. Just you're not going to do the uh, you'll see. Okay, you type ZIP space then the name of what you want your zip to be I'll just name it uh, ROM and then the name of the ROM and I'm, this is a long name so I'm gonna have to copy it so copy and then I'm gonna paste and then hit enter and then it will zip it and now you see that I have the ROM.zip okay now you can drag this to your desktop also or whichever one you're doing just drag both of them to the desktop okay now you're done with the zip folder so you can close that out so now you've got your ROM and your or your folder, whichever one you're wanting, to, whichever one you zipped. Okay, now you're gonna open up the uh, My Repo Space website, and you're up on the upload package. All right, if it's an application, make sure you select the application, or if it's a theme, select theme, ROM, V wallpaper, or ebook or comic, whichever one you're doing. Okay, now hit browse. Okay, it may not it may not defaultly be on your desktop, so you're gonna hit the up arrow up here until you uh, go to your desktop where you save the files okay I'm gonna upload the ROM it'll be the easiest um, you're gonna you'll see the ROM.zip folder just select that and then hit next make sure you have the right thing selected down here and hit next okay so once it's done uploading it will bring you to this page here is where you're gonna name your package um, the package name name it whatever you're good whatever the name of whatever you uploaded was so I uploaded the ROM I'm not gonna name it anything I'm just gonna name it ROM uh, the version, make sure you get the version right because that will help people keep up to date when you uh, make updates and then you add your description you can type anything and then copy path from zip okay if there was multiple folders in there you're gonna make sure you pick the right folders normally if you just made one folder and your file is in just right in the zip folder like if you extracted it you would extract the file um, you're gonna just hit slash Okay, and it it normally will display all this for you. If it doesn't, you'll just have to type it out yourself. Okay, I'm just gonna select anything. Like if you selected, uh, make sure you select the right thing, and it should do all this for you. If not, you're gonna have to figure that out on your own. It's not that hard to do. Once you do it a few times, it'll automatically you'll do it. Okay, now select if it's a 1.4 or 1.3 or if it's just universal it'll work on everything and then if you want to you can um, add a pop-up notification like thanks for installing or anything like that just type thanks for installing okay and then if you don't want a pop-up notice and just don't even type anything and then you're gonna hit add my package okay and then it says your package has been successfully submitted you can add more information below Okay, and then you can type in your thing right here. This is for the more info tab of the uh, package. Just type in whatever you want here. And then hit add package information. And then you can keep that up to date when you update the package. Alright, now I'm going to show you how to update the package. You go to home. And then you will see all your stuff right here. And you can change your account settings. You'll need to do this. Make sure your contact email is right. You can change your password here. You can put your website, your location, your birthday, um, and then you can go to repository and change your uh, repository description. Mine is don't pay for apps, ties off and uh, Default picture, you can change that if you'd like. Okay. Now to update a package, you'll just hit the manage packages uh, text right here, and then you select which one you're going to update, or you can edit the packages by hitting the uh, the notepad with the pencil on it or the update with the uh, little earth and the arrows going around it or you can delete one with X just to update you just select here and then you do it just like you did before okay and this is that was a video on how to make a repo um, if you have any problems or questions or anything then just leave me a comment or send me a message and I'll help you out with that um, 
please if this helped you out or if any of my other videos help you out uh, please donate that helps me out a lot and if you can't donate click the ads on my website